Hello everyone, you go from Ichiban Studio and today what we're going to be looking at how to paint marble. So this is the paint list. I use Vallejo game color, black, dark green, stonewall gray, white, and then P3 formula. I used arcane blue. Um, these are the colors that you were going to need if you want to actually recreate what I'm doing. So we're painting green marble actually. So basically this is the base color. Uh, you need dark green plus black and then uh, dark green by itself. So as you can see here's the dark green and here's the black so I did two piles of color basically one pile of color is the dark green mixed with a little bit of black and then just the dark green by itself um, and they're extremely diluted so I used a lot of water to mix them you can see the consistency there so basically the first thing I want to do is I want to brush up uh, the dark color first and just in some area pretty rough uh, just to you know like create a pattern and some areas where the marble that is not gonna be like too light so have a little bit of a field of depth in the base color of the marble by you know putting some color in there For the sake of tutorial, uh, but I always paint the side of the base, I just sped it up, but I always paint the side of the base with the darker color because the marble on the side will not have grain in it and just make it darker so it looks a little bit like a slate. So now I'm, I'm putting the lighter color in. So basically for, for the lighter color what I'm actually doing is that I will be applying it pretty heavily on the base, but I don't want to spread the color too much, so I want it, I want it to actually pull off. And the reason why I want it to pull off is really easy. As you can see here, I just sped it up. But the why I'm leaving it pulling in is because I take my blow dryer and then I, I blow it up and I move those pooling areas, which will create a nice smoky effect on my base color. And I do the same thing now with my black. So my first layer of black was just to determine my areas will be black. And now I'm just going to put more definition into that. And then, like you saw me, I'm using now the two colors and I'm letting it pool and then push the, the, the paint while it's drying with my air um, with my blow dryer which it makes that that nice smoky wavy pattern with a lot of definition and a lot of layer already just in the base coat one thing though when you're doing this you don't want your base coat to actually be too dark you want some areas to be darker for sure but you don't want the lightest area to be too green the reason for that is basically because when we're gonna do go do the veins we're actually be going to um, glaze it up after with the base color so if you do it too dark it might be really really dark in the end so you want to leave it that uh, so the first layer of lines basically the first layer of veins is gonna be uh, that's what we're gonna do now one thing is that the direction of the veins is very important normally marble but depends on the type of marble but normally marble has some linear direction to your vein so you, you want to figure out where your veins are going to go if you have just one single tile like i have right now it doesn't matter it's not a problem you can just start your veins in any directions you want and then you're going to be fine but if you happen to have like an area which has basically a lot of tiles if those tiles were part of one big tile of marble but actually ended up being broken down but stayed in the same area there's no problem just all do the vein in the same direction but if you would have an example like you see right now on the screen uh, this is a base I did for a contemplator dreadnought I'm working on the I wanted the tiles to be broken and and on top of each other so basically I don't want the veins to be all in the same di same direction because some of the tiles just got broken off and then fell on top of the other so I want to create some kind of visual interest to that piece so I did the vial the, the veins in different direction maybe I said the vial I'm a little bit tired I've recorded this tutorial like three times already for the voiceover so basically <laughs> For doing the veins what I use is a one-to-one -one mix with my paint now uh, I'm using a p3 arcing blue and basically with a triple zero brush I'm doing the veins uh, I'm applying a lot of pressure when I want the veins to be larger and then I'm, I'm really really scraping off the top of the of the marble or the plate when I'm painting lightly to do smaller lines so basically you want your lines to, to go big and small and big and small just to create some nice visual effect on there so basically for for the blue color is just that just paint it up and the frequency to which you will put those now I'm do I'm doing the stonewall gray uh, layer 
but the frequency or the pattern that you want to create is all up to you go check some reference pictures of marble and you're going to be able to see uh, you know what marble looks like and, and all the different types of marble that has those different lines some lines look like what I'm painting now some other marble looks like uh, it's like kind of like dots in it. There's a bunch of type of uh, different type of marbles uh, Marbles not marbles marble that you can paint up So go look at the reference picture and it's gonna give you a good idea But now I'm showing you the technique and the way I did mine. So basically for the The gray it's the same exact thing I'm just pulling my lines up and just making them in the frequency. I, I find accurate or uh, You know adequate and then that's pretty much it Now we're going to be going to do the glaze. So basically the glaze is that we did our first layer of veins and we want to blend them into the actual piece so that it looks like it's there. And we want to also create some dimension. So I'm using the black and the dark green mix from the beginning, diluted extremely. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to let it pool and then with the blow dryer, I'm going to push it over. One thing though, if you're looking into painting a marble for some of your pieces, I would suggest that you do the marble all at the same time, meaning that if you have like, you know, on the contemplator dreadnought base that I showed you a little bit earlier and that you will see at the end of the video, if you have multiple tiles, just paint them and do each step on each of at the same time on each of them. Uh, you know, do your base color on each of them, then do your veins and do it like that. Don't finish one part off one little thing right now you see me in, in some areas it did pull over too much in the blow dryer I'm just pushing it around and it will create some nice effects so don't worry about that but going back just paint everything at the same time because if you don't paint it at the same time there's gonna be some variation and your marble might not look the same everywhere so really important that you paint it up all at the same time so you have a uniform pattern and that your marble looks almost all the same and it's from the same piece of marble now the second layers of line is basically Vallejo game color black and Vallejo game color white. So basically here you see it more in a close up view and then we're just going to go pull in the, light, the, the black lines. Some green marbles come with, uh, green marble come with like has black line, black vein to them. Some of them don't, just whitish and grayish vein. So again it's a question of looking at the reference picture and, and determining which one you want to do but now using the Vallejo game color black I'm just pulling some black lines into it and just because I think the green the black and everything it looks pretty sexy and if you're doing a blue model or if you're doing a, a yellow model using this basing with like a tile of my like that it's gonna make your model your model pop like crazy especially for the yellow uh, trust me I'm, I'm working on it right now it's not finished so I, I don't have pictures of it but it does pop like crazy so it's pretty nice now I'm doing the white so basically using uh, Vallejo white uh, game color white I'm just pulling the lines again so those white lines are gonna be even more crisp that's why I'm using white at last so now is the final glaze so basically uh, same thing our base colors that we use at the beginning a mix of black and green and the, the green by itself and then same technique we're just making it pull over so we're just applying it generously to the base and then after that we're just gonna make it make it like move around with our blow dryer and that is pretty much it once you've done that uh, you could also you could go back and do this these steps like four or five times if you want to have extreme depth to your marble but uh, this with those two steps like I do it you still can you know get a really good result and something that looks pretty cool one thing that I do actually like to do is I actually like to gloss varnish the tile when it's finished and then after that I like to uh, to reprime it uh, not reshoot it lightly with a matte varnish so it, it kind of like gives a semi gloss looking uh, like marble would have a little bit of sheen on it it will not be flat like right now and then one thing here's the final result that you're gonna see on the video one little thing is that normally when I work this is plaster this is plaster just prime so it has kind of a special texture which makes it look a little bit foggy now on the picture but normally what I do is that when I am um, working with plaster I actually do some kind of uh, a dilution of water and PVA glue and I, I put it on top of the 
of the plaster let it dry so it gives a different texture than what you see right now on the screen once it's all fully painted at the end but that again it's it's a question of experimentation you have to experiment with it and then you're going to be able to see what is the final result that you will uh, achieve so basically that's pretty much it for how to paint the this green marble here you have an example of a librarian that has that green marble this one doesn't have the black lines into it probably maybe it was a little bit rushed could have been done better but here you see the contemplator dreadnought base that i'm working on this one i took a little bit more time in doing the marble and i think it does look a little bit better especially with the black paint that's pretty much it go check out our previous videos uh if you haven't watched them yet and this was hugo from ichiban studio and i will see you on the next video cheers for watching